Lorenzo Miller with uh, Lorenzo's Dog Training Team. We're no-nonsense trainers, meaning, you know, we're not going to be clicking clickers and feeding treats and playing games. However, we're not uh, being mean either. Uh, we're going to use a technique that makes sense physically as well as psychologically to the dog where we get immediate results. I think the biggest misconception is the fact that uh, it's, it's supposed to be fun. You know, fun, fun, fun all the time. We always say that, uh, well, first we have to make sure that the dog understands its place. And then uh, it has a, to develop a line of communication and develop a level of respect. And then we can start to uh, move into the fun portion of the uh, training. These clients are going to demonstrate uh, 180 degree right turns where they plant the left foot out in the front, spin the heel 180 degrees, and then kick into the leash, giving corrections with natural body motion. The next turn is a 90 degree right turn. The 90 degree right turn is designed to teach the dog to stay close to the body. You'll see the client plant the left foot in front of them, spin the heel once again 90 degrees to the right, and then kick into the leash. The 180 degree right turn is designed to teach uh, their dogs to pay attention, not to pull on the leash, and to stay on the left side. Last but not least, we have a 90 degree left turn. The left turn is probably the most important turn of all three. It's designed to teach their dogs to stay behind them. Off the right foot now, the client will spin to the left and uh, give a little bit of a bump with the knee, teaching the dog to uh, stay behind them when it's walking. We're going to also demonstrate automatic sits at the door. When we open exterior doors, we don't want the dogs uh, bolting through the door. So uh, they learn to sit first and then go out of the door second on command. Uh, we also have uh, a little bit of leash application. You'll notice the clients are uh, pretty much holding the leash in the right hand. The left hand's free of the leash. We're using the left hand to uh, give hand signals. We're using the left hand to praise. Uh, ultimately, we just don't want to guide them with the left hand. We want to know that the dog's walking at the client's left side because it respects their position as the leader and because it's uh, uh, paying attention to them. Next, we have the uh, baseball grip correction. The baseball grip correction is designed uh, to uh, gather the leash as if you were holding a baseball bat right in your power zone. You'll notice the client's giving corrections with a quick snap and release associated with a verbal no. And this is pretty much uh, the only way we discipline. The correction is very similar to the way the mother would discipline, uh, where she grabbed it at the uh, nape of the neck, rod and shook. The dog understands that that's a correction. Once we finish the uh, on and off leash uh, phases of uh, training, uh, the dog is now prepared for a job. Whatever that job is going to be, we need to have a very solid foundation on and off leash first with a dog that's been well socialized. We have a uh, six foot uh, catwalk that we call it, where uh, they have to actually uh, balance themselves while walking up the beam and walk across a, uh, a six inch plank, which is not uh, very easy to do. Then we have the uh, high jump. And the high jump is great for uh, exercise, confidence building, as well as the uh, 10, uh, 10 foot barrels. Now we have metal under the dog's feet and uh, it has to uh, be comfortable with this uh, type of uh, footing and uh, comfortable going up and over the, uh, the, the 10 foot barrels. In protection training, uh, we have uh, different phases of protection. Uh, we start with suspicion level building. A dog as young as uh, you know, four or five, six months of age could learn to bark at a threat and warn the threat off. Um, as the dog matures, we can move uh, further into a defensive bite work, where now the threat comes too close and the dog learns to take the bite and hold on until we tell it to let go. From there, we move into attack training. In our attack training, uh, the dog actually leaves your side. It learns to uh, uh, pretty much uh, subdue the agitator and hold on until we tell it to let go. In most cases, the uh, attack training is not uh, functional. It's not, a, it's not something that we could use. Uh, because if the person is moving away from you, there's no direct threat. But uh, it's great for uh, exercise and training and uh, for the next level, which is uh, security training. Uh, some of the services that we offer are uh, behavior modification. In most cases, this is uh, the bulk of the, the work that we do. Um, people are coming to us because their dog's uh, aggressive or it's, uh, you know, just uh, not mannerable in the home. It's chewing destructively. It's uh, barking excessively. It's pulling on the leash. You know, it's uh, attacking other animals or, or maybe even going after people. Um, a lot of times these people have already attempted to do training at uh, XYZ Dog Training Company and for whatever reason, um, the training didn't work for them very well. So. Um, my name is Amy Hafner and this is Rocky. Uh, I got Rocky as a puppy and I was about eight months pregnant. I couldn't really take care of him anymore and I needed help training him so I brought him to the races. And he came back, JD was his trainer. Um, he can do just about anything off leash, on leash, and he's protection trained, which is great. I knew that I had to find a way to get him under control, so that recommended Lorenzo's. 
Um, I brought him in, they gave me a demonstration with my dog, and um, before we go right ahead, say no more, just let's start. Uh, I heard about Lorenzo's from a neighbor who had a very well behaved dog, and we brought him over here to see uh, what it was all about. And when we saw young puppies sitting calmly with cats running around, we thought, no, this, this has got to be the place. Uh, a couple of good friends of mine told me about Lorenzo's dog training and that it was the best. And I have to say, it has absolutely lived up to that. Um, you can reach us at uh, area code uh, 216-475-5999, 866-436-4959. Uh, on the web, you could uh, reach us at lorenzosdogtrainingteam.com.